Good morning, everybody. All this week, the Tampa Museum of Art has been prepping for the arrival of Jaume Plensa. The sculptor is famous for making humongous body parts and figures out of letters. He says that fascination with letters started when he was a little boy growing up in Spain in an apartment completely surrounded by his father's books. I grew up surrounded by text, any kind of text. My father was a very hard reader and uh, and, 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 and that was the information, finally. Probably thanks to that, uh, I, I was always passionate, not only about wars, but also about the bi biological function of one letter. Says that, the biological function of one letter. Joining me on the wonderful PTV couch is Mr. Michael Tomer, Executive Director of the Tampa Museum of Art. Thank you for coming in. Thanks, Lizette. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, what is it that makes him so sought after in terms of the exhibitions? Well, I think right now, um, being um, having access to art in the public is one of the things that has just driven him um, into a celebrity mode in North America and also around the world. His works are in collections all over the world. Uh -huh. And so um, here at Tampa Bay, at the Tampa Museum of Art, we have a lot of his outdoor sculptures surrounding the museum for the first time. Wow. So you can access this collection and his artwork on your own terms, at your own time, morning, noon, or night. And we're so excited to bring this to Tampa Bay. How large are some of these? Because the book is like impressive. Yeah. Yeah, the book is very impressive, but <laughs> really, unless you're standing next to the pieces, it's hard to understand scale. So there is a beautiful portrait of Laura, um, who is um, the, the name of his wife, but it's a, uh, a combination of all different ethnicities. She is 24 feet tall, and oh she stands outside the museum between us and the Pope parking garage. So when you arrive, you are welcomed by this... Um, enormous, monumental, beautiful piece wow. of sculpture. Yeah. And so he will be at the museum on Friday night? He will be, and on Saturday night for two private openings for our members and our VIPs, but then the exhibit opens to the public in the galleries. Of course, the um, artwork is accessible in some cases now, uh -huh. um, but it opens to the public on Sunday at 11 o'clock, and we want everybody to come to this exhibit. And, and the folks at the museum have had quite a time putting these together because they're so huge. Yes, this is the first time that we've um, really prepared for outdoor sculptures. So so concrete plinths have been laid. We had cranes moving the artwork. This 23, 24 foot portrait. Yeah, is, we saw the crane. <laughs> yeah, it's all made out of bronze. So th right. th these are really monumental works. Yeah. Wow. So th thank you so much for bringing this to Tampa Bay. It is, as we said, a gift to the city as well as to the museum because the rest of us can enjoy it regardless of whether we go in with our kids or we enjoy it from outside. Expect a whole lot of selfies happening That's right. with pictures and yeah. stuff. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Lizette. If you at home would like to see this collection, it is fascinating. Please visit the Tampa Museum of Art website. As we said, the opening to this exhibition, Human Landscape, happens on January the 24th.